Okay, Fringe is done and he's in a box and uh, this is the circuit that uh, I ended up with with uh, Fringe. Fringe is a combination of Dr. Stifler's SEC exciter circuit and then I modified it into an LED charger light and I'll go slow here. You can take a look at what my notes are here. It's a one wire charger. The green is labeled with uh, my display here and the red is the on off uh, photo circuit and there's parts list for the whole thing and the white part over here is Dr. Stifler's SEC exciter circuit and this is actually over here the uh, one wire charging circuit that's based on what he told me how to do it I changed things around a little bit and this over here is the switch diagram for turning the switches back and forth and uh, that's fringe right there and that's how he ended up. He ended up in a box and um, he's on one of these experimenter boards and I will uh, eventually put him on uh, one of these uh, uh, grid style PC boards but uh, I'm still experimenting with him so I put him on a, an experimenter board but he's automatic and uh, if I put him in the dark here he'll come on. Come on French. Come on. There he goes. Yeah, he's just like the other guys. He doesn't like the light. He turns himself off in the light. But yeah, he's an automatic um, uh, solar powered uh, light that uh, goes on and off automatically just like a garden light. But uh, just like Louis, uh, I added a charge port right here for him that uh, I can uh, plug in a solar panel um, separately and then a uh, power supply too. And right there is the uh, indicator light. I've got a little um, charger thing. I'll show you how that works. You can see the lights on right there. And when, when I've got him set up like that, I can charge uh, one or both of his batteries with these switches here. And uh, these are double pull, double throw switches and um, you can use the solar panel or the other but he doesn't need a lot of energy and this display over here is my display of how he works and you've got an on off uh, automatic switch that's a photo cell with a little transistor this is Dr. Stifler's SEC exciter circuit it's an oscillator circuit using inductors and then this over here is the one wire charging part of it and I'm going to show this charging up a capacitor here now right now the capacitor is grounded out. It's uh, zero. Right there. I've got it grounded right here. I'll connect it. And uh, you can see it's um, still zeroed out here. Now I'm going to turn this on. It's a 9 volt battery just like what's in the fr uh, fringe. And uh, this is my amp draw meter right here. It's about 25 milliamps or less. This is a meter that's set on um, a 25 milliamp scale. Right here, 25 milliamps, and the full range here goes up to 25. And the way you turn the display on is a photocell here. There's a little cup to cover up the photocell. Watch the LEDs come on. And this is just exactly how fr a fringe works. Now, over here, you can see the capacitor is now loading up. And that's what uh, what I wanted was something that had a charging capability. And this does. Let me undo this again. Short this out. I'll show you another, another deal. Okay, there's the, uh, the capacitors grounded out. I'm going to disconnect the capacitor here and just show what the unloaded voltage is on this on the back end and this is coming off one wire this is a one wire charging circuit it comes off one wire off the collector of the transistor there's a capacitor here that basically isolates it and then it goes through this little um, uh, circuit over here and then charges up the 9 volt battery okay let me turn him back on here and there he goes now that is the voltage unloaded on the back end of this circuit. Remember, this is coming out of a 9-volt battery, and that's 20 volts 
almost 21 volts unloaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the cap. The cap is a 50 volt 1000 microfarad. Okay, there goes the cap loading up. You can see how fast this is loading up. Now this is coming in at about um, 18 milliamps. Probably can't see that, but that's about an 18 milliamp draw on a 9 volt power source, and the cap's already up to 18 volts. And that's how fringe, uh, fringe works. Fringe has a circuit that has two two switches on in there that uh, while you're running off one battery, it's charging up the other one. And then uh, every day you just flip the switches back and forth and it goes the other direction. But um, yeah, it, it was a fun project. I enjoyed building Fringe. He's a, it's kind of a neat thing. You can, let me turn him on here again. Once he's on, he stays on unless you point him right at a light. Oh, there he went again. <laughs> turn him on. Come on, Fringe. There you go. But you can take fringe and you can set him up on his on his ear <laughs> and use him that way, or do him this way, or turn him down. But uh, he looks pretty good. I, I've been happy with fringe. He's a light. I put him over by a lamp at night, and while the lamp's on, he's off, and then turn the lamp off, and he comes on automatically. And then uh, he runs down during the night, and then I can give him a shot of solar during the day, or flip his switches either way. And he comes right back to life again. So he's a he's a successful project. That was fringe.